Hey, what's up? Welcome back. In this episode, it's going to be a quickie. We're just going to fix a little bug with some JavaScript that we've been using inside of clear BNB. This is not going to be like part of an official part of the series, but um, yeah, I just want to show how to fix uh, this little bug that I found. So what happens today is when you go to create a new listing, this address input should be populated with the address autocomplete. Like you should be able to type in one, two, three, and it should draw, have like a drop down list of, you know, do you want Main Street? Do you want whatever, whatever. And if we open up the console here uh, and then refresh the page um, or like hard refresh the page, now we're seeing this error init map is not a function. So we're, yeah, there's just like some errors that are firing as that, as that happens. Let me take you through super quickly how this form is set up. So we have a div that wraps that address element. So the, we have a div that wraps up this entire address element. There was a whole video where we showed how to set this up and we're using a stimulus controller called address that listens for an event um, on, the, uh, on the window object. So on the window, when map loaded is called, then the address controller calls the init Google function. So if we go look at the address controller, then we have this init Google function. So what is this init Google function and like when is it actually gonna be called, et cetera, et cetera? Well, again, that depends on when this map loaded event is fired. And that is gonna be event type. It's a custom event type. It's firing on the window object. And that happens inside of our, um, inside of our sort of like base JavaScript file. So we look at our application.js for the pack. We have this custom function that we're attaching to window called init map. And this init map function is gonna say, okay, we're gonna fire a new event called map loaded on the window. So we're gonna dispatch that event on the window. So when we refresh the page, it's supposed to be firing on the window. So we can see down here that the address controller is being connected and the menu controller is being connected, but this thing isn't actually like firing up. And if we hard refresh it, okay, now we can see one, two, three, Nashua Road, whatever. We can like actually see some, some things are typing or we're able to type into it. We also see this placeholder that says enter a location. So sometimes it loads, sometimes it doesn't load. Like that time I just loaded and it's not actually showing up. So what's, uh, the first thing we need to do is like start adding a little bit of logging to debug what's happening. So what I wanna do is I wanna know when this init map fun function is being called. So I'm just gonna say console.log init map was called. That's gonna at least tell me when init map is being called. And then if we go back to the address controller, um, we have a log statement when the address controller is connected. We have another log statement when Google Maps is initialized. So let's refresh the page again. So we see init map was called, and then after init map was called, the address controller is connected. So init map is being called, oh yeah, where is that even being called by, right? <laughs> Application uh, HTML ERB. So in the head here, we're loading up Google Maps. And we're saying, uh, after you're done loading up uh, Google Maps, what do we want you to do? Well, we want you to call this callback. So we give a query string parameter when we're loading the Google Maps JavaScript file and inside of the Google Maps JavaScript, it knows if we passed it some name to call that name on the window. And that's the way that Google Maps can tell us like, okay, this the our JavaScript is loaded. So what's happening is that Google Maps is actually loading before our local stuff is loading, right? Before our local JavaScript is loading. In some cases, in this case, it didn't, right? Like our menu controller connected and our address controller connected before a nit map was called. And if it's called before, then it's totally fine because Google Maps is there. And then we call Google Maps, et cetera, et cetera. And so then we end up with a working address input. So how do we, how do we fix this? Well, number one, the problem is that Google was loading before our controller. And so if Google loads before our controller, if Google Maps loads before our controller, then what we can do is in the connect, we can just call in it Google because the only thing we were waiting for was this Google, this like Google Maps object to be ready so that we could mount uh, our listeners and attach it to our stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add this check that's here and we're gonna say if window.google, then 
we're gonna call this dot init Google inside of our connect handler. So if it's not initialized, or if Google isn't loaded before the controller, then we need that data action that will listen for the map loaded event that fires in the window, and then it'll call our init Google function. Otherwise, if it loads before us, it should call this. So after we add that, now it should just work like every single time, and we should never have a case where it's not loading. So even now you can like look at the order, right? So init map is being called after, but in this case, init map was called before the address controller was loaded. And then inside of the connect function for that address stimulus controller, we knew that Google was loaded. And so we were able to call init Google and now we can see our address autocomplete. The cool thing about this is that now when we create the listing, um, I need to probably put some stuff in here. Um, whatever. Now when we create the listing, nightly price, oh gosh. Okay, it's gonna like, we need to save that input, but now we can get the lat and long. And what's cool about that is we can start to drop pins on a map for where the listings are. So yeah, that was just a little bug that we added earlier, wanted to come in and fix it. That was one of those cases where like it works sometimes, but not all the time, and it's sort of unclear why. But uh, yeah, hopefully that's helpful for someone. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.